There has been a lot of talk recently about Blazor. So what is Blazor and why should you use it to build web applications? It is a framework built and maintained by Microsoft. And Blazor has been under development for several years, so it's not like a new framework. So why all the buzz? Well, .NET 8 has some really robust enhancements that from Microsoft's point of view, will push Blazor as their flagship framework. Currently, Microsoft builds and supports multiple frameworks for building dynamic web applications. They have Web Forms, Razor Pages, MVC, and now Blazor. If you've been around for a while like me, and you've been building apps on top of Microsoft frameworks, you start to notice some trends. They will announce a new framework and slowly deprecate or remove support for the older ones. For web forms, while it is currently supported, it will only receive critical updates. I believe over the next few years, the same thing will happen to Razor Pages and NBC. Blazor from Microsoft's view is the new flagship framework for building web applications. This means the documentation being produced for Blazor will be featured on all of its websites. Most of the innovation will be poured into Blazor and not as much into Razor Pages and NBC. Does that mean these older frameworks are dead? No, but going forward, Blazor will be the flagship. So what does that mean for you? If you have learned the older frameworks, your skills can be transferred to Blazor. Rest assured, for many years, there's going to be work in these other frameworks. So if you're learning MVC or Razor pages today, they are still in demand. However, if you're new to web development, you can start with Blazor in 2024 along with the release of .NET 8. So what is Blazor? Blazor is really the name for the next version of ASP.NET. Microsoft has been building on ASP.NET for over 25 years. They have a rich history of building server-side application frameworks. Blazor is the latest version of this that truly delivers a first-class client and server-side framework. As David Fowler, distinguished engineer at Microsoft said, this version feels like we're completing the full stack puzzle, meaning we can now build applications that are rendered from the server or the client, and many times a little both. We can update the client without a form post back, as you see with React or Angular. Blazor utilizes two-way binding to achieve this. Let me show you. Let's talk about two-way binding with Blazor and what you're looking at is a lone calculator that we build in the cohort, normally build it with JavaScript. Now hit calculate here, it calculates a monthly payment for a simple interest loan. So look, let's look how we could do that inside of Blazor. Now right away, the one thing you'll notice is that we're using plain old HTML to build our UIs in our front end, that's very important. And where we need Blazor, we have special components here, input number, but this magic statement here called at bind value binds it to an object or a page model loan. And then it has the property that we want to see purchase amount. Now, the other thing that you want to bring your attention to is the button here. And we have a, a standard button here and it has an on click event, things you've seen inside of JavaScript. And so when this button is clicked, um, it'll run this method called handle submit. If we look down in our code behind here, and it is worth noting that our code could run client side or in the server. This one's running in the server, it doesn't really matter. Um, on our on initialize, this is when our page loads, we set up values to loan.purchase amount, loan.term, the properties in our loan object to give it default. So let's look at how that can work real quick. And if I refresh the page here, notice that the values still are still being persisted inside of these controls, and that's because loan the underlying loan object has changed. Now, what I want you to know is I didn't write any JavaScript DOM manipulation to do this. I didn't have to write get ML by ID or anything like that to make sure that these have values. It's totally coming from the loan object. Now, when I hit calculate, notice here this payment changes. And this is because handle submit was ran and it called a method we had and it changed the new loan came back and now the loan has changed and therefore the page changes. And if I look right here, up here in the payment here, you can see here, all I'm doing is referencing the loan object and passing in a formatter. So loan.payment has now changed and that's called two way binding. There's no JavaScript to change the DOM on the page. And we think that's very powerful when building front ends and super easy to do inside of Blazor. Blazor is also a component first framework, meaning everything is a component. 
you don't really create pages, you create components with a route. Components allow you to build reusable blocks of code with their own CSS, markup, and C-sharp. This is a major enhancement for developers, and Blazor is a first-class component framework. Let me show you. Now let's talk about components here, and notice here when I hit the click show payment schedule, this generates a list of payments for my loan. Let's see how we could have done that inside of Blazor. Now, in here, you can see down here in our UI here, I have standard HTML, and then I have this thing called a payment schedule, this new HTML element I have. Really what it is is a component. And um, all a component is is more HTML, but you can have your own code behind, your own CSS, and you can run your own logic in here to run the payments. Now, what's important about this is I've got all this HTML, but I also have this parameter, my code behind, and I'm passing it a parameter called loan. And uh, if I go back over here to the, the front end here, I want you to understand as I'm passing a reference to this loan inside of here, okay? Um, now, when this runs, um, if this changes, this will change over here. So let's look at how this could work. And so if I change the down payment, notice all of my component is also rebinding itself and showing the payments. And also if I hide this, I also have some logic here that hides it from the page. This is not hidden, it's just not in the DOM at all. And then when I hit show payment here, it puts it back in the DOM and rebinds it. And no matter what I do here, this is always in sync with the current loan object. That's because it's passed by reference. So we have parameters being passed into UI components. This component first framework in Blazor is super powerful. And this is another reason why people are really going to adopt Blazor next year. So the big question is whether Blazor is going to be the market leader or just another one of the many available frameworks. The answer is, I think it's going to dominate the market. And why do I say this? Mostly because Microsoft is building off the already great foundation of ASP.NET. Also, Microsoft has some built-in advantages no one else has. So let's talk about the major advantages Microsoft has when building out um, frameworks for developers. First, they have Visual Studio. And as this goes to Blazor, you have things like Hot Reload and all of the niceties that are built into the Visual Studio to support the framework Blazor or ASP.NET MVC or Web Forms for that matter but these things go hand in hand. So if they have an issue that a developer faces, Microsoft has the ability to address that if it need be inside the IDE, or they also can address it in the framework itself. On top of that, they also own the language. And so if there's something that the language needs to do, Microsoft has the ability to change C-sharp to support the developer, which goes in hand in hand with the IDE, the framework, and now the language. And finally, they also have their own ecosystem with NuGet. And NuGet is where Microsoft will build packages as well as open sources, uh, other vendors as well, that allow you to bring these packages into your application to support things like identity, building secure applications, your ORM framework with entity framework, your support for almost any database known to man. So there's a lot of packages that go into this ecosystem that supports you as a developer when you're building things. And they're the only company that owns all four of these. A lot of companies may have a framework. Some may have a language, but none of them have the IDE, the framework, the language, and the ecosystem that supports developers. And this is why Blazor and building things on top of Blazor is gonna be a very compelling reason for companies to adopt this. Blazor is going to be Microsoft's flagship framework. Microsoft will push this as the way to build web apps. This means if a .NET shop is looking at a new project or rewriting an existing one, they will more than likely adopt Blazor for that project. If companies are looking to rewrite an app from another framework, Blazor should and probably will be on the board for discussion. And what does this mean for you? More jobs and more opportunities. With the release of .NET 8, Blazor is set to dominate in 2024. Hope this helps. Good luck and keep coding.